Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. The Australian dollar ended sharply lower on Friday for the second straight session, including today will be the third and the market is still holding underneath that 60 day moving average. Investors continue to worry about the US Federal Reserve after turning relatively hawkish from their last meeting, which may indicate faster and higher rate hikes this year to tame the record inflation that we're presently seeing. This week, we've got the FRMC minutes, so the market will be keeping a close watch there, while back home, the RBA also will be printing their minutes from the last meeting, and also we have the Australian job numbers, which should keep the markets relatively busy. In light of the technical pattern, we are breaking down, and I feel that we are looking towards a region of 7105. Now, a break there would give further scope down towards 70.055, that is, and with the objective being 69.65.75. Any upside attempts still views the 60 day moving average around 60.80. The euro was very, very whippy on Friday, and with the dollar index surging back above the 96 handle, the euro plummeted now closer to its objective of 113 after that relatively. Whipsaw price action here we can see on Thursday. Now behind that movement was the fact that the US consumer price index rose by 0.6% in January after a 0.5 rise in December. The hotter than expected US consumer infla inflation report for the year rose 75 as most economists were bracing it, it being lower than the forecast of 73 Nevertheless, with the market seeing 40-year high inflationary numbers, does give further indication that the Fed could hike rates 50 basis points in March. Let's see how the market plays, because as I said, the market should be looking down towards its objective of 113 figure 5 after this spinning top rejected that 114.60. 80 area. A break of 113 figure gives further scope back towards the bottom side of the range, soon around 111. With the situation with uh, Russia and Ukraine, safe haven to bar and come back into the market sharply on Friday, rejecting that region of 116 as the, the strength of yen continued. Now, with the fact that we've seen a rejection from that top side, we are looking back to the bottom side of the range, soon around 114.70, and reassess from there. The indicator is breaking down slightly, which does give some confliction to the view. Sterling also displays a very whipsaw price action after many indecisive signals. I still feel we're locked in a 134.60 to a 136.60 range, with the view coming back to a bias case. As the RSI breaks down. If so, then we are looking back towards 135.20 to 134.60 and reassess from there. This would indicate a little bit of a weaker play for Sterling Kiwi as the market still maintains above that four month trend line. Nevertheless, I feel that at, in light of the pan, uh, any upside attempts should fail to, towards that, that 204.70. 90 region, where the rejection was here, and look back to the trend. Finishing up with gold, well, the market rallied relatively high on Friday to a free month, that is, after the White House warned Russia invasion of Ukraine could happen any time soon. That is the fact that uh, the market's strength is now a little bit on the weaker side. I'm seeing divergence here, so I expect to see a pullback with the first support seen around 1,842. Now, a break there would give further indication back to the downside to 32, down to 1,814. With the divergence coming back into uh, view, that is, that uh, could see a weaker play. Finishing up with oil, well, the market's showing some divergence as it hits or refreshes to the point of the seven year highs. As, the, as I mentioned, the tension with the Russia and Ukraine. Still, nevertheless, the markets may find a little bit more supply coming back in the market if we see any development with uh, Iran after a, after a 10 day break. Indirect talks with uh, US and Iran may resume and therefore could see a little bit of a choppy play. And if so, may see a small pullback. 
Well, that wraps it for the day. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look after the intro, Paul. I hope you enjoy the great start to the new week.